Good morning, everybody. I'm Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. Today we have a video answering some of the questions I've been getting. We're going to talk about your clippers, oiling your blades, cleaning, taking care of your clippers. We're also going to have a demonstration and have a discussion about trimming to avoid clipping off your bunny's whiskers when you are harvesting their wool. So starting out right away, we have a pot of water boiling on the stove because it is a bit dry here right now. Uh, that way we can increase the humidity when we're getting ready to shear our rabbit. Uh, that'll make uh, a little bit, it'll help us out with the static. We put some hand lotion on our hands. Uh, that'll also help with, if you have dry hands, the wool will stick to your hands. If you put too much lotion on, it'll stick to your hands as well. So this is, we have the German Red Clippers with us, which we're going to use. Uh, these clippers, um, we have the blades already on and we need to clean these blades. So we simply press the button, remove our blades. You can see a little bit of fluff came off with the blades. We're going to take a look at these blades. You're going to find there's fluff in here. We want to just take care of our blades. I have a soft bristled toothbrush. There is a brush that came with uh, if you buy the German Reds, there's a brush that came with, that'll come with your set. I don't know where mine is. So we're just going to remove as much of the, remove as much of the little debris that we can. Um, we're going to put our, this needs to be cleaned off too. We can see a little bit of, we can see a little bit of wool right through here. We want all of this off. We don't want to get it back on our clippers. So for oiling your blades, you want to have your blades cleaned off before you put them away. And you want to oil, you want to dab just a bit of oil on your blades before you put them away. Um, before you shear, you also want to dab your blades and oil them. That's what we are going to do right now. We're going to plug in our blades. We have the oil that came with our clippers. I think in one of my videos I called this a engine and my mother corrected me and said that's not an engine, that's a motor. And I said I know mother but I'm not going to re-record the video because it takes a long time to make videos. Okay, so with these clippers when you, what you're supposed to do is you're going to, you're supposed to keep your clippers, turn your clippers on when you're putting the um, when you're putting the blades back on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some of these things right. We have our blades on. One little dab of oil. Alright, we're cleaning them off. That's it. That's all we. That's literally all we put on for oil. We don't need a lot of oil. If you start, I have oil all over the table. If you find that you're clipping your rabbit and there is, um, your blades aren't going through. You've cleaned off your blades. You know that they are the correct. You've adjusted them for the correct tension, which is important. Um, obviously, on these, you just simply turn this this little button either way to either make them tighter or make them looser. Just a quick aside for how tight your blades should be, you should be able to push your blades a little bit. So for your blades, you should be able to push your blades a little bit with your finger. It sh they shouldn't slide very fast, um, but they should have just enough give with your finger. They shouldn't be difficult to press either. Let's get these back on. So if you're by if you're if you're clipping your rabbit, you've got your tension adjusted, you have them oil, you have your blades oiled, you have your, your clippers cleaned out all the different places where there can be debris, you have uh, different you can get dander inside different parts of your clippers, you've taken care of them, you've cleaned them out, and you're trimming your rabbit, and if you find when you're trimming your rabbit it still doesn't 
clip through, you need to sharpen your blades. So you've tightened them, you've oiled them, you've cleaned them, they are on properly, you've adjusted many times, it's still not going through, through your rabbit, you just simply have to send your blades in to be sharpened. And there's not much you can do with a dull, play, a dull pair of clippers. So again, the tools we use, just a simple toothbrush, a bit of our oil, uh, we put our lotion on, we've got water boiling. Another important thing, so your clippers should come with instructions. If not, you can write the company from which your clippers came from. If you lost your instructions, simply request another paper copy. Otherwise, everything's on the internet. You could typically find a copy for your uh, instruction for your clippers. That'll help you take care of them. When I'm cutting my rabbit, I'm not gonna oil. I usually do not need to put more oil on my blades. This is usually sufficient. If I find that I'm cutting through my rabbit and for whatever reason, um, my clippers are simply not, not clipping as well. Uh, I may dab just one more drop of oil on, but really you don't, you don't, I find I don't need to. So our scissors that we use, we have to keep them sharp. You can tell if your scissors are sharp enough, you should be able to place them inside where the rabbit is, and we'll give you a demonstration of this, place them inside and they should simply snip the wool. Obviously not too big of a chunk of wool and not too big. We have our wonderful Rosa with us today. She had her coat blown out. She is in full coat. That means that she has her full three months of growth. And for whiskers on a bunny, you can see there's whiskers above the eyes. You can also see by her nose, there's whiskers coming out. So when we're trimming our bunny, we are going to trim two, let's see, where is that whisker line? So when we're trimming our bunny, the whisker line is about here for the most dense, um, the most dense whisker parts. This hair that you see where it's uh, sticking up. These are not whiskers, these are guard hairs. So they're thicker pieces of the coat and they protect the, they protect the coat. They keep it in German Angoras, in all Angoras. The guard hairs help keep the coat from matting. Turning on the clippers. If you notice, I kept my hands kind of by her ears, kind of covering them up when I turned on the clippers. If you're trying to get your rabbit accustomed to being clipped with clippers, and you notice when you turn on your clippers, if your rabbit gets really jumpy, spending time, spending more time with your bunny and in short bits, uh, short bits of time, turning on the clippers, turning off the clippers, giving your bunny treats, letting your bunny know, listen, nothing, nothing bad is gonna happen. You have to convince them of it. Obviously, a conversation doesn't work. Simply telling them, I promise nothing bad is going to happen. They don't believe you. Um, so if you're trying to get your rabbit accustomed to a blower, if you're trying to get your rabbit accustomed to clippers, that's what you want to do. You want to start with small, small amounts of time, and you want to slowly, uh, you want to slowly build your rabbit up to the actual um, the actual time clipping. Some rabbits get accustomed to this faster than others. Yes. We're going to start with clipping the just the area in the back to start to get our clippers through. We know these clippers are sharp because I just clipped it, or these scissors are sharp because I just clipped a section and all of it was trimmed. If you find that you're putting your scissors through and there's pieces, there's sections of your wool that are not getting clipped when you're cutting with your scissors, you need a sharper pair of scissors. So we're getting, you can, you can see we're leaving quite a bit of wool on. That is again because it's colder here, even though we are going to put a sweater on because uh, Angora is seven times warmer than sheep's wool. When you take a coat off of an Angora, when you clip all this wool off of an Angora, the temperature change is very dramatic. So if you imagine as a human, you're, you're outside and you have, you're fully clothed, you have all your winter attire on, 
and then all of a sudden you go inside and for whatever reason you you have uh, you take everything off and then you go back outside with pretty much just a pair of a little pair of undies on or something you will notice a giant difference in your body temperature you will notice you will feel your body get very cold quite fast it's the same with Ingors. that's that's why we give them the uh, that's why we give them the sweaters the little jackets the shearing jackets okay we have a big enough section clipped here when you're clipping this is also a good time to uh, examine in between this is in German and Gores, their wool is so thick it's difficult to it's difficult to truly get a good look at the skin of your rabbit and you should see nice pink skin you shouldn't see a lot of dander you shouldn't see a lot of um, any yellow any brown bits any any hay bits as long as you've blown your rabbit's coat out if you see um, chunks that are missing of your rabbit's fur if you see um, a lot of dander that's something that you want to consider going to your vet for because there are different conditions that do exist in bunnies all right clippers on hi rosa she hunkers down and we start clipping my clippers are clipping nicely We're leaving quite a bit of wool on. We have second cuts. If you have second cuts, those extra bits, just shake them off. You can see second cuts right here. That's the second cut. So that's how your clipper should clip. There shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't have giant chunks of wool left on your rabbit. If you're, I got off and stuff to me. So that's how your clipper should clip. You shouldn't have giant chunks of wool left on your rabbit. Um, you should be able to nicely just put your, put your clippers through the wool. If not, again, if you've oiled them, if you've cleaned them, it's time to send your clippers in to get sharpened. And one of the other questions that I ask is how many rabbits can you shear before you need to, um, before you need to sharpen your clippers? And for me, that's, a, that's always a difficult question to answer because it depends on the breed of the, the Angora. Uh, if you're shearing a satin Angora, they have less density. They have, um, typically they have less density. I have found from the satins that I've owned. Uh, and so you can shear more satin Angoras a rabbit with less wool, less density, you can shear more per between sharpenings than if you shear, for example, all German Angoras. And I'm pretty particular about the sharpness of my blades. I like very sharp blades and I get pretty frustrated fast if my blades are not sharp because it makes, it makes just frustration for me, frustration for your bunny. Your bunny doesn't want to sit any longer than it has to to get clipped or shorn. So, you can see we have Rosa got a, she got a little bit of, she got herself a little dirty here, just in one little small section. That's wool we're going to discard. Some people save it and clean it. I don't. I simply discard any soiled wool, which happens. If you notice when you're trimming and your clippers are not going through, 
the wool as much as you want to if you know they're sharp. One of the things you may have to do is you may have to hold the skin taut. You may have to, you may have to give it a little tautness. Simply placing your hand on the rabbit out. an excellent example of when I was holding the clippers incorrectly towards the skin. You're going to see, do you see this chunk right here? I did not hold the clippers and let them rest the entire way on the body. When that happens, you end up with tufts like this and it's easily avoided. You simply uh, set your clippers down, follow the length of the body. But if I go over this again with my clippers, this is going to be a second cut and it's just wasted wool. So the wool in this section of the rabbit is very dense, it's very thick, and um, normally you want to start closer over here, closer by the tail to shear the bunny, and uh, I started quite high up. If you notice, all of this is second cuts. All of that is second cuts on my blades. If you... Um, if you stop, you can, I don't know where my toothbrush went. If you stop, you can easily just brush, clean off your blades. Obviously, don't, put, don't do it on your, don't clean off your blades on your freshly shorn wool. Hello. Yeah. If your blades get hot, you can add a little bit more oil, but if you start adding a lot of oil, It'll just gunk up everything because look, your Angora likes to stick to things. Angora likes to stick to things even if they're oiled. Angora sticks to everything. So now we're going to show with scissors. You can see I'm pressing the wool down. This adds just enough 
pressure that I can see where the um, see where I'm trimming. Obviously, that's important if you're using anything scissors or your clippers. It's important to see where you're trimming your bunny. Uh, when you get in close by their tail, you certainly don't want to hurt their tail. It is it is possible to nick uh, a rabbit right in the tail region under the legs. Those are all very common areas where there's lots of nooks and crannies, lots of different changes of the angle, and that can make it hard, can make it a little bit more difficult when you just start out trimming until you get accustomed to how your rabbit feels. So Rosa has been trimmed many times before. Germans are trimmed once every 90 days. This helps get your rabbit accustomed to trimming. The more frequently that you have your rabbit trimmed and that there's no loud noises, there's nothing um, that can really disturb you when you're trimming your rabbit. Rabbits, rem <laughs> rabbits are prey animals. They remember if something has scared them. So even something as small as um, we have a very loud doorbell. It's a it's an actual bell, and so when the doorbell rings, it's in a quiet house. When I'm trimming a rabbit, it makes uh, it makes both myself and the rabbit jump, and that's obviously it's something I can't avoid. However, it's something just to be aware of that once a rabbit is scared, if you have loud noises for whatever reason, you just want to reassure your rabbit, help your rabbit calm down yourself down whatever you need to do so if you notice it's a bit faster to trim with shears significantly faster than it is with scissors however if you're just starting out one of the things that I am very I very much support is when you're just starting out you don't need everything at once when you're just starting out you don't need to have the most expensive pair of clippers if you can't afford a pair of clippers that's fine. Buy a pair of scissors or use what you have. Rosa has very nice wool. This is a really great length of wool. This is called a staple length, the actual length of the wool. You'll notice um, when you hold it like this, there are guard hairs. Some people remove the guard hairs. It's easy to remove the guard hairs just like this. You just look at where they are, pull them out, Many of the guard hairs, the longest guard hairs, are gone. There's a few more, but that's how you can remove guard hairs if you uh, don't want guard hairs in your wool. This is what it should look like, just a whole bunch of different hair, and when you feel it, it should feel coarse, because the guard hairs are coarse. They are thicker, they have a higher micron count than the other types of wool on your money. We are going to trim at a downward angle. We cut. We are covering her eyes. We know where her eye is. Use your fingers to feel where the eye is. That way we don't poke her. Angle down. Definitely wanna, definitely wanna pay attention and Try not to clip your rabbit on the skin. <laughs> She's nudging me. She's like, hurry up. So that's how we trim to avoid the whiskers. So she, you can tell she has all of her whiskers still on top. And right here, we would just trim this little section off too. There's a lot of folds in this part of the bunny, a lot of skin folds. But there you go. We leave these whiskers, and we leave all these little whiskers. Yes, Rosa. Rosa likes being scratched on the head. She appreciates keeping her whiskers. She says, thank you. Thank you very much.